Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Sweden is definitely not overpowered campaign. Totally 100% not overpowered. We're gonna hire a level 1 Diplo guy. Um, yeah, so uh, these troops have recovered a little bit and now we have to redo the pathing. Weird how it shows that it's a green province, like we have enough supply here, but then it's actually not green. Like, what's up with that, eh? Um, normally what would happen is if it was like close it would be yellow. I mean, what? Actually, why are these ones yellow? And what? What's going on, game? You're confusing me. Supply limit 21. Wait with us 28. Where I come from, that's not yellow. That's red. Like that one's red. That one's not. I don't understand what's going on here. I'm looking at the supply limit map mode. Let's just okay. If no army is selected, red indicates a low supply limit. Yellow indicates a medium supply limit. Green indicates a high supply limit. When an army is selected, provinces which cannot support the army are red, while those that can are green. A province that can just barely support the selected army is colored yellow. This is wrong. This should be yellow. This should not be... It's just, it's just wrong. Anyway. I mean, grant... whatever. I feel like the math is off somehow. Oh well, so Poland has just rivaled us, as we expected. It's time to rival Poland right back in the kisser. So things are going pretty well. It's time to actually earn the achievements that we sought out to collect, which are to, number one, take land back from Poland so that we can finish and do the Line of the North and uh, the Baltic... Baltic, uh, what, what do they call? I forget. There's one, Line of the North, win the Protestant League, and then the other one is like the Baltic Ambition or something. We're gonna, we need to take like Stolp, we need to get our hands on Lubick, some of this stuff, and then of course the rest of this coast over here. And we've got our little attack dog, Lithuania, who absolutely hates us. It's to be expected. But we're not going to let them go. Maybe this thing will update at the beginning of next month, I'm not sure. Well... We just suddenly lost military access for Bohemia. Why did you do this? You're gonna leave me stuck here, suffering attrition? That's not very nice. But we had access. Alright, we're definitely gonna take this. We're going to upgrade our troop types. Grab our infantry. Get the free shooters, I suppose. Alright, see now it actually is correct. But this one's green and it shouldn't be. Like, what? what is... I don't understand this game. I don't think anybody understands this game, not really. What are we doing here? Improving relations? Very good. We've been working on Mecklenburg. Bohemia, I need you to give us some military access. I want to win this war so we can get done with this. Currently gaining war exhaustion due to attrition in just this army. And it's gonna happen again. But not probably as much as we had last time. Let's see, what did we actually gain? Yeah, barely anything. Okay. Well, I still don't know if I trust this thing. But we're gonna go down this way and we're gonna go find an army to smash and we'll have some fun with it. It's been a few days since I played E. Uh, no, not EVE. I've been playing EVE way too much. I've been playing a lot of EVE Online, which um, you may have seen the first video that I put up on YouTube about it. I don't really I don't really put a lot of videos up on YouTube about EVE Online, but I'm playing that, and then I've also been playing the Horse Lord, so it's a little bit weird getting back into EVE... Uh, damn it! Into EVE, EVE 4. Um, it's just different. It's a lot different. And now I'm pressing D for the Diplomatic Map Boat. It doesn't work! It's the wrong game! Damn it! Where are my keyboard shortcuts? T is... Yeah, okay. Brandenburg, I think we need to improve relations with you. And the Hansa will improve with you, just try to keep people out of coalitions and stuff. Um, we can get over here if we go this way. And Ansbach is the person who called us in, so... First things first, I think we go back and we take this thing back. This is the war goal. Yes, I assume. No, it's actually show superiority. 
We've won exactly 0% of the battles. Well, let's go fix that. Shall we? We are the Swedish. We are awesome. Should we just go 30 on 30? Just go fight him. I mean, it's farmlands. And they've got a 0-1, a 2-2, and a 0-4. We've got a 3-4. They do have good maneuver, so it looks like we'll be facing a river crossing from Ansbach. There's one in Ulm. There's one in... Oh, interesting. Is there actually not a river between here and Württemberg? There is not. Somehow you can go from Heidelberg into Württemberg with no river. Would you be so kind as to give me military access? We already have it. Oh, excellent. That's Yeah, that's part of Bavaria. Cool. Let's go. Smashy smash. Nice job, Nils. Nine. Starts with a nine. Backs it up with a nine. What a beast. And then he rolls a zero. But still, he rolled double nines. And the first two phases of combat are clearly the most important in any engagement, because that's where most of the damage gets done when everyone is at peak fighting efficiency. So I'll take a 9-9 nine, nine followed by a zero, like, any day. All right. It's pretty solid right there. So we're at 12% of battles. Let's get, get rid of this ticking war score nonsense. Shoot, I went the wrong way. Oh, be nice. Give me military access. Alright, we have time to walk around, I think. We don't have to worry about it. We'll be there before the end of the month. They won't get another recovery tick. And we're totally out of manpower, so I'm going to go ahead and shift consolidate. I don't want to actually consolidate, because I want to make sure we have... Yeah, we got 16 guys with 16 cannons. I don't want to have any cannons end up in the front row. And apparently the math is... Oh, right, because the... A couple of them were at zero regiments. The cannons did end up in the front row. That's unfortunate. However, we should be alright. We take a few cannon losses. 600 cannons, it's not good. Alright, ticking war score is now gone. How do you like me now? And they control Hunsbach. I think we should maybe go take that back. We'll can't just kind of hang out here. See if we can get control of this thing. Religious unity is well on the rise. We are almost to 75%, which is going to not be enough. We need 90% to get rid of religious turmoil. And doing really well on technology. At least some of them. And we just finished off that administrative idea group. Didn't decide to take the policy. Broke lines declared war. Was it war? I mean, look at all these modifiers. We're gaining 2.9 plus 4.4 plus 1.4 plus 1.4 plus 1.4. We're gaining 11.5 opinion per year in uh, recovered opinion. I wonder if those are... I think those are rounding up to the nearest integer as well. So it's actually probably more than that. I know for sure that's how aggressive expansion works. I think they all work the same way. Because you notice you don't have fractional opinion on any of these modifiers. Let's wait and see. I want to watch it. That's something I want to test. We'll we'll look at it closely here in uh, January. Nice wall breach. Could just assault with our fancy pants infantry. Oh, hey, it's an army to attack. Never mind. Let's go get go do that. Again, we end up having cannons in the front row, but generals concerned by our unmanly tactics. Excuse me. What are you talking about? We're very manly. We're the manliest of men. Alright, it's October. We've got this army hanging out up here. How are we doing on unrest? We've got Ocel, who's rather pissed. We have an army over here. Lithuania is recovering quite nicely. Are you actually going to continue to just, like, throw troops right adjacent to me? Because I'll do it. I'll just come and keep on winning battles in this show superiority, Cassus Belly. I mean, thank you. It's very kind of you.
All right, so we're looking at December. So at the end of this month. Shoot. Yeah, there goes a cell. That's oh, nice and small. Can we teleport our leader home? Not while we have this. They're going to take a cell if I don't go right away, though. Here, actually, why don't you hang out in this province and we'll teleport you back down in a second. Pretty well-balanced army there. Alright, so my prediction is that um, the aggressive expansion one will go from 154 to 153. Sorry, 151. The pretext to our claimed throne will go to 78. And then it'll be... So 78, 42, 17, 11. Okay, got that? Okay, was it war? Actually went down to 12. Seventy-eight was correct. And then the other ones I've forgotten. So somebody can, can check on that. Um, that would be nice. And if it is storing fractional values, then I really wish that it would just, you know, show the fractional value. Anytime we can take a battle, we'll take a battle. Nice, we got Onsbach back. Alright, how about that Swedish manpower, eh? We need to get some, some manpower back. Oh, hey, you got rebels, huh? We're 50% of battles. Wurttemberg is down to low. Onsbach is on high because relative strength of the alliance, and Onsbach is making gains. <laughs> They're doing so much! Of course, their, uh, their war exhaustion is at 16, so good luck with that. I mean, I suppose what we can do is just kind of, um, ah, shoot. Keyboard shortcuts are slightly different for CK2 and EU4. I guess we can afford to do the sieges. It's, it's not ideal, but... We'll just sit here and try to make it happen. And also, I'm uh, I'm very surprised that the the thing hasn't started yet. I think it starts in 1550. Printing press gives benefits. Wonderful news. Now we have Swedish particularists over in Nordjylland. What caused them to be so upset? Do you think? Autonomy is decreased, and then we got millenarianism. And we have some more exhaustion. We already have troops here, though. Of course, when they rebel, they could rebel in a lot of different places. Blecking would be a good place to park another army. Eighty-two day siege. Pretty damn good. Alright, and I don't have any interest in this land, so I'll go ahead and just transfer it. Don's Bach. See if we can help out our little buddy. We're the defender of the faith, after all. And he better be Protestant, right? Yeah. If he wasn't Protestant, I'd be pissed. So what do you, what do you think he's going to do? As far as piecing out this AI. Hard to say. Who's the actual war leader? Württemberg. Yeah. We got Württemberg's capital, so. There you go, Ansbach. Ah, yeah, what the hell? We'll go for full occupation of Württemberg. Called in, uh. Called in this guy, too. We can't go any further, but look at that. We start off with, uh, the, the rebel siege progress. We're already at 42% with breached walls times two. And there we go. Here you go, on Spock. Looks like he already just pieced somebody out.
The mountains will not save you, Switzerland, for we are Sweden. You should not have joined this war. Mamluks will see Cairo, Rosetta, Sinai, Alcarac, Suez, Algarbia, and Mon. My goodness, Ottomans, settle down. I'm going to have to come down there and teach them a lesson. Hey, there we go. All right. Wurttemberg will be... Thanks for white flag, black flagging me, by the way. Wurttemberg will be forced to give Ansbach 10% of their income. And Wurttemberg will release Ravensburg as a sovereign state. So did Ravensburg... They're Catholic, right? Yeah. It's too bad. Would have been nice if um, the fact that one of our guys released him that could convert them at the same time. All right, Lithuania. So um, we're at peace. Let's go ahead and rival Poland because you know they started it. And uh, what's our mission right now? We must conquer lands, Vyatka. I took a mission to conquer Vyatka. We have a truce still with them, so let's cancel that mission. And hopefully we can uh, get a couple extra claims on Poland. And I'd like to get Lithuania to be loyal so that we could possibly get um, get their support in the war. Right now they are at 51% liberty desire, so despite their opinion, they're pretty close. Get them below 50% and they'll, they'll, be, they'll be a loyal vassal, they'll support us. Their opinion toward us, relative power toward us. Um, I do have a little bit more force limit available. And we are getting close to having our second aspect of our Protestant church. So that'll be cool. Okay. Things are coming along. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the uh, the progress we're seeing. I'm very curious to see how the, the docked war goes. The nation of Austria, your faithful allies, request you come to their aid in the French conquest of Trier. Alright. Well, just like that, we're right back to war, huh? I... I think what we do is uh, we wait two months, let that war exhaustion come down a little bit more, and then we'll we'll go ahead and help. We'll fight against France. Why not? France hungry? Sure. Let's uh yeah we'll give it exactly two months. So June first, July first. Honor the call. Also we can take admin tech, which I'm going to do. Have not put any thought yet into what uh, policies we want to take. Hey, we can form Scandinavia. Yes, we can. Now, this does not preclude your ability to get the actual achievements, so... I th think we do. Really not much of a reason not to. More prestige would be... Oh, it's okay. Want the autonomy change definitely would help. We do have some land that has autonomy. So, sure, that would be nice. What else do we get? For 20 years. The national unrest doesn't help. We should probably wait till after we conquer some land from Poland to start it. Okay, before I forget, I want to wait until July the 1st. Oh, shoot. It was exactly two months. And I think we just dishonored the call. And lost 25 prestige. And lost our alliance with uh, Austria. Crap! Well, all the more reason to form Scandinavian Nation now, then, so we get the bonus prestige. Let's do it. Click the button. Yay, we're Scandinavia! Basically the same thing. Um, Alright. Well, okay, we have a new flag, which I don't like, but um, the color on the map looks good. Alright. I'm going to take a break here. I will see you again in the next video. Let me know what your thoughts are, as always. See you soon.